If looks could kill, part Jim and would have died countless times. Oh my God. What am I seeing? Part G. Han embracing someone. Who is this person? exclaimed the onlookers. In this moment, Park Min Young felt that Park Jimin was like a lighthouse in the darkness, illuminating a small ray of light in her otherwise gloomy inner world. This ray of light allowed her to see hope, feel warmth, and no longer fear loneliness in the dark. It was this steadfast and warm feeling that provided comfort. Park Jimin stood still like a statue, not uttering a word. Previously, Park Min Young had always been distant and indifferent to him. But now she appeared so gentle and warm, leaving him unable to comprehend. Nevertheless, being embraced by the school's top beauty made him feel incredibly comfortable. The atmosphere around the male dormitory became increasingly intense. Part Jimin slowly pushed Part Min Young away, his gaze complex, with a slightly reproachful tone. Part J. Han, I already had a bad reputation at school. If you do this, won't I be completely buried? Hearing that, Park Min Young hugged Park Jimin even tighter, speaking in a sweet voice, Don't push me away. Let me hug you a little longer. Just a little longer. The three roommates of Park Jimin witnessed this scene, their eyes wide open, as if they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Min Ho, give me a slap. Park Ji Han is hugging Jimin. Where? Where is this happening? Especially Gil On Gang, who considered Park Min Young as his goddess for the past three years. Now seeing Park Jimin being embraced by her, he almost went insane, declaring, No way, Jimin, I want to kill him. While the male students were angrily grumbling, the sky suddenly echoed with thunder, and heavy rain poured down relentlessly. This year's rainy season seemed endless, with almost non-stop rain every few days. The thunderstorm caught everyone off guard, and large raindrops fell like marbles, prompting the people to hastily seek shelter. It's raining. Let's go quickly. Park Ji Han. It's pouring like this. Let's go back to the dorm to take cover for a while. It's too cold. Let's avoid the rain. Having no choice, Park Jimin reluctantly took Park Min Young back to dorm 503 to escape the rain. On the third floor, Park Jimin's roommates felt extremely tense seeing him bring a girl. Inside the room, dirty clothes and smelly socks were scattered all around, without anyone reminding them the three roommates took the initiative to clean up. In just a moment, the room became neat and tidy. After Park Min Young arrived at 503, Park Jimin politely said, Park Jai Han, feel free to sit. I'll make you a cup of tea. Hearing that, Park Min Young obediently complied. She sat down on the chair next to Park Jimin's bed, her eyes curiously scanning the entire room. Is this a boy's dorm room? It's not like the messy and dirty ones they talk about in stories. At this moment, Park Jimin's three roommates followed him to the back. In their eyes, Park Jimin suddenly became a magnificent deity. Jimin, you dare to bring Park Ji Han to the dorm room. What are you thinking? Hearing this, Park Jimin chuckled wryly. Don't talk nonsense. You guys think I wanted to bring her here. Except for Mr. Hong and Mr. Zhao, who seemed excited. Jill On Gang stroked his chin, his eyes revealing deep thoughts. Ha, huh, there's something not right with this kid. He still wants to take her somewhere. While Park Jimin was chatting with his roommates, suddenly Park Min Young's voice rang out. Hey, Park Jimin, you've left your unwashed pile of dirty clothes again. What's this all about? Hearing that, Park Jimin turned back in surprise, only to see Park Min Young holding up his underwear, her eyes wide open, and her face blushing. Gil On Gang had doubted the relationship between the two before, but in this situation, there was no room for further debate. Only in an abnormal relationship would Park Min Young dare to hold up Park Jimin's underwear. Previously, the events that transpired couldn't be put into words. Adding to it, Park Jimin didn't come home last night, so it was almost certain that the mystery of the sea snails had finally unraveled. From this point on, the mystery was no longer a secret. At 10.30 in the evening, the heavy rain had subsided, but this season still held the possibility of continuous rainfall. Park Min Young sat motionless in the room and the presence of Park Jimin's roommate only made her more awkward. She almost didn't say anything, occasionally forcing a shy smile. But then, she suddenly remembered the incident with Park Jimin's underwear, and her face turned red as she hurriedly bowed to cover her embarrassment. Park Min Young didn't know why she did that. Perhaps she felt indebted to Park Jimin. However, with Park Jimin having so much money, he surely didn't need her compensation in financial terms. On the other hand, Park Jimin lacked nothing. Coincidentally, 
He also had a pile of dirty clothes lying around, and that was something small she could help him with. But somehow, holding up the right pair of underwear in that manner could easily be misunderstood. It was too embarrassing, and she felt like crawling under the ground, thinking, how did I end up holding his underwear? I want to disappear. Part Jimin stepped outside onto the balcony and noticed that the rain had stopped. He turned back to Park Min Young and suggested, The rain has stopped, Park Ji Han. Let me take you home. Okay, sure. Park Min Young rented a house in the campus area, not too far away. It took about 10 minutes to walk from the school gate. Sensing the atmosphere becoming awkward, Park Jimin broke the silence. This time you came to find me to discuss fundraising, right? Actually, you could have just messaged me on WeChat. Hearing that, Park Min Young immediately became alert. Fundraising. Right, I came to find you to discuss fundraising. Finding you was definitely about discussing fundraising. What else could it be? Thinking this way, Park Min Young turned to Park Jimin and said hesitantly, But I don't have your wet chat. Mainly, I want to invite you to Vinova Company tomorrow. How do you feel about that? Can you give me your wet chat? Finally said it, give me your wet chat. Seeing Park Min Young's blushing face, Park Jimin couldn't help but think, waiting for me under the sixth floor for this matter. It's the 21st century, and there are still honest people like this. After contemplating, Park Jimin took out his phone, opened the QR code for Park Min Young to scan, saying, All right, now you can reach me anytime. After adding Park Jimin's wet chat, Park Min Young seemed quite cheerful. Really? I can find you anytime then. Immediately after, she realized she might have been too excited and hastily explained, What I meant was about fundraising. You can find me anytime for fundraising. Feel free about the fundraising. Tomorrow morning, you can take me to survey Vanova Company. I'll go ahead, say goodbye, and go home early to sleep. As Park Jimin left, Park Min Young continued to watch him, feeling confused. She questioned herself, Am I behaving like a bad woman? But just being near him, I truly feel warm and secure. Yet he is still someone else's boyfriend, Kim Jisoo's. What will he think of me? Thinking this way, Park Min Young knew that a romantic relationship between her and Park Jimin was impossible. If I continue to hold on to unrealistic hopes, I will only become a disruption in someone else's relationship. Therefore, from now on, she will try to be distant from Park Jimin. She doesn't want to hurt him, but she also doesn't want to get hurt herself. Waking up, Park Jimin felt like a soulless being, probably due to a sleepless night making him incredibly tired. After a night of rain, the city seemed to don a fresh coat. The sun was emerging, casting bright golden rays onto the cool asphalt roads, dispelling the remaining dark clouds. The bustling street, now quiet, only had a few slow-moving cars passing by. At 9.30 in the morning, Park Jimin walked out of the school gate, managing his time as he strolled. Simultaneously, Park Min Young left the campus as well. She walked and contemplated the business collaboration between Vinova App and Park Jimin. Later, they took a taxi together to Vinova App. On the ride, a message from Yang Wei popped up. Park Jimin, today the Kim Mao building is available for rent. Can you accompany me? It's my first time. Oh Yang Wei, I'm the president now. Don't handle everything by yourself. Wouldn't it be better to assign this to an employee? I have some business to attend to today. At this moment, Park Min Young turned to look at Park Jimin, wearing an uncomfortable expression. Are you happily chatting with some girl? Not Kim Jisoo, is it? As soon as Park Min Young started to distance herself from Park Jimin, she seemed to transform into a different person. No longer gentle and shy as before, she became cold and distant. Park Jimin keenly sensed the change in Park Min Young's attitude. He couldn't help but feel confused and worried. Did I offend her again? Just overnight, and she's back with that unusually dark and distant expression, almost like a coffin. Is this girl experiencing a split personality? On the other side, Park Min Young kept reminding herself, no matter how enamored I am with his sense of security, he is still someone else's boyfriend. I can't be the third party destroying someone else's relationship. Besides, this guy is not surrounded by just one woman. Hey, President Bakyum will be here in 10 minutes. Yes, President, I will pay attention. Half an hour later, the taxi stopped, and it was nearly 10 o'clock. Get off, Park Jimin. We have arrived. As Park Jimin stepped out of the car, he felt a bit familiar with the place. But then the towering building in front of him struck his eyes, making him feel dizzy. Your company is not in this building, right? 
Is there an issue on the 39th floor? Park Min Young replied, leaving Park Jimin even more stunned. He truly couldn't believe it. Not in a million years. Jayon Bakum has so many office buildings. Why is it this place? This is too coincidental. If I run into Yang Wei, my life is over. Thinking so, Park Jimin dragged Park Min Young to the elevator, heading straight to the 39th floor. He didn't want too many people to recognize him, because there was a secret he didn't want anyone to know. In just about a minute, the elevator opened with a creaking sound. Right after that, he suddenly saw a familiar figure appear before his eyes. The figure was so elegantly beautiful, unmistakably familiar. Park Jimin was shocked, unable to believe his eyes. Could it be such a coincidence? Then that voice echoed, making Park Jimin even more astonished. Oh, Park Jimin, why are you mere? Didn't you say you had something to do this morning? Entering the elevator, Park Jimin found himself sandwiched between Yang Wei and Park Min Young, immediately causing a sense of panic. His heart raced and his mind felt struck by lightning. Now absolutely no panicking. Stay calm. Panicking will only make things worse. In unexpected situations like this, staying calm is the best approach. No signs of unnatural behavior. Thinking so, Park Jimin took a deep breath, trying to regain his composure. Then, he turned to Yang Wei with a composed expression. Yang Wei, let me introduce you. This is Park Min Young, the former student union president at Harvard University, currently working at Vinova Software Company. I'm here this time to discuss collaboration with their company. Seeing Park Jimin acting, as if nothing happened only deepened Yang Wei's suspicions. She knew. Park Jimin and Park Min Young have an unusual relationship. Otherwise, how could they meet here? Especially when Park Jimin lied to her about being busy this morning. This makes it even more likely that he is hiding something. After that, Park Jimin turned to Park Min Young to continue the introduction. Park Jihan, this is Yang Wei, my high school classmate. Now, she's the owner of this Kim Mao skyscraper, the building we're in. Hearing Park Jimin's introduction, Park Min Young couldn't help but feel astonished. The alluring and beautiful girl, who looks like she's in her 20s, is the owner of this Kim Mao skyscraper. She's so young and already wealthy. Vinova app, where I rent an office in this skyscraper, costs 1 million a year. Just the rent for a year is already such a considerable amount, and this large building is truly an astronomical figure. Moreover, she's both wealthy and beautiful, and also a high school classmate of Park Jimin. Their relationship seems quite unusual. Park Min Young looked at Yang Weibai with a scrutinizing gaze before politely greeting. Hello, I'm Park Min Young. Nice to meet you. Yang Weibai responded with politeness, but her expression seemed a bit uncomfortable. Hello. Afterwards, Yang Weibai also looked at Park Min Young with contemplation. I like him, and yet he's here with another beautiful girl. She's even his high school classmate. Someone as beautiful as Jia Han engaging in business talks. Park Jimin, who are you fooling? I know wealthy men are often promiscuous. But even if Park Jimin is, he can't be straightforward about it. Thinking about how Park Jimin behaved only made Yang Wei Bai feel more uncomfortable. He makes an appointment with me to collect the rent, claims he has no time. But when meeting the beautiful Jai Han, suddenly he has time. Park Jimin, you're not done with me yet. Regardless of their relationship, I feel belittled by that girl. I can't accept this, I can't condone it. Park Jimin continued to appear calm, as if he came here for a business meeting. However, he could sense the tension in the air, especially when he felt Yang Wei Bai's gaze. He knew that these two women disliked each other, and there was even a strong sense of hostility. Now they had reached the 39th floor, and the elevator door slowly opened. Park Min Young turned to look at Park Jimin, smiling sweetly. Park Jimin, we've arrived at the company. I'll go in to meet the president first. You wait here for a moment. After saying that, she walked away, her eyes showing a triumphant look. Part Jimin, are you courting girls everywhere and getting caught in the act? Serves you right. Not long ago, you were dating Oh Young Sil, then Kim Jisoo, and now Yang Wibai. How are you going to explain this? Thinking so, Part Min Young couldn't help but chuckle. Right after Part Min Young left, Part Jimin scratched his head. Smiling bitterly, explaining, Yang Wibai, I have something to tell you. Yang Wibai felt extremely uncomfortable, but didn't know what to do to relieve it. Now that Park Jimin wanted to find a perfect excuse to explain everything, 
It made her even more angry. I'm not foolish enough to remember to apologize now. It's too late, and I can't be placated anymore. The more she thought, the angrier Yang Gwib Bai became to the point where she couldn't control herself. She shouted at Park Jimin, Explain yourself. Park Jimin immediately stepped closer to Yang Gwib Bai, leaned in close to her small ear, and said in a low voice, Yang Gwib Bai, you have to be careful with this person. Hearing Park Jimin say that Yang Gwib Bai completely didn't understand what he meant. Then, she asked a bit confusedly, Why should I be careful? Seeing Yang Wibai starting to get a little perplexed, Park Jimin approached again, placed his hand on her shoulder, and looked straight into her eyes, saying, She is a famous lesbian at Havert University, only likes to flirt with beautiful girls. I'm worried she might make you transgender. Yang Wei was immediately startled upon hearing that. What? Is it really true? Park Jimin nodded emphatically. Of course, it's true. Trust me. If you don't believe it, you can ask around. There must be someone who knows. I'm concerned that she might harm you. After hearing this, Yang Wei felt extremely bewildered and anxious. If I become the target of her pursuit, I have no idea what might happen. Then, she looked at Park Min Young running towards them, a bit of fear welling up inside her. Park Min Young approached in a hurry, saying, Park Jimin, come in. The chairman is waiting for you in the meeting room. Park Jimin nodded and then turned to Yang Wei. All right, wait for me a bit. I have a meeting with their company to discuss a project. If there's time during lunch, we can eat together. Yang Wei nodded, feeling a bit complicated inside. If Park Min Young is indeed a lesbian, it means that Park Jimin and she had no past relationship. Because homosexual individuals, both physiologically and psychologically, have an instinct to connect with the same sex. She is the president of the student union at Havert University, and I need to find someone to confirm this a bit. I remember having a classmate studying at Havert, named Park Jin Ryu or Hyun Jin Ryu. He was a short-distance runner who once won the championship at the school sports festival. He used to pursue me, and until now, he hasn't given up. Usually, he would frequently send me messages, but they were just meaningless words. Due to concerns about affecting our relationship as classmates, I blocked his phone number. I'll try asking him. After some thought, Yang Gui decided to call Hyun Jin Ryu. At this moment, Hyun Jin Ryu was outside the sports field of Harvard University. He quickly heard the ringtone of his phone, and as he looked at the screen, unexpectedly saw Yang Gui Bai's number, the goddess he had fondly remembered since high school. The proactive call excited him. No way, oh my, Yang Gui Bai is calling me. Could I be the lucky one to reverse the situation? Could it be that the ultimate goddess has finally noticed me? After five years of persistent efforts and endless sacrifices, have I finally touched her heart? Hurriedly, Hyun Jin Ryu answered the call with an enthusiastic voice. Yang Wibai, my fellow student, why do you have time to call me? What's going on? Yang Wibai replied. Well, Hyun Jin Ryu, my fellow student, I want to ask you something. In your school, is there someone named Park Min Young? Do you know her? Hearing Yang Gui Bai inquire about Park Min Young, Hyun Jin Ryu couldn't help but feel a bit surprised. Oh, you're talking about Park Min Young, the reigning beauty of Havert. There are very few male students unfamiliar with her, but she graduated this year. Why are you asking about her? Just curious. Is there something related to Park Min Young's psychology? At this moment, Two young men observing his posture couldn't help but whisper to each other. Why is he standing here showing off like that? Is he crazy or something? Hyun Jin Ryu, upon hearing Yang Wei's inquiry about Park Min Young's psychological issues, began to speculate in his mind. Could the rumors about Park Min Young be true? Is she really a lesbian, attracted to women, and for some reason, she happened to encounter Yang Wei Bai, captivated by her beauty and demeanor, leading her to pursue her? Yang Wibai must have sensed something abnormal in their friendship, which is why she called me to inquire. Thinking this way, Hyun Jin Ryu couldn't help but feel pleased, and then he couldn't help but smirk and say, This is my opportunity. Next, Hyun Jin Ryu began recounting the story vividly and authentically, mentioning Park Ji Han, a pitiable figure that you might not be familiar with. Previously, she was just an ordinary person like everyone else. However, a horrifying incident occurred during her high school summer vacation. Once, she was unexpectedly abducted by a pervert and kept captive in a dark, 
lightless room underground for an entire month. During that time, she endured unimaginable acts of torture. Upon being rescued, she almost collapsed mentally and nearly became insane. Although her condition showed positive progress afterward, she started to distance herself from everyone, especially from men. She developed a heightened aversion towards all males. Despite her gradual recovery, she became more reserved and unwilling to interact with strangers, particularly men. She maintained a high level of psychological guard, and as a result, Park Min Young became a lesbian, exclusively attracted to girls, and harboring no interest in boys. She has captivated many female students in the school, and there are some girls who simply need her to hold their hands, as the rest is entirely up to her decision. In fact, she has promoted several female students to the student council, turning the entire student body into her own harem. Yang Wei felt relieved after hearing Hyun Jin Ryu's explanation. Realizing that she had misunderstood Park Jimin, she expressed gratitude to Hyun Jin Ryu for clearing her doubts and said, Thank you, Hyun Jin Ryu, my classmate, for turning out to be such a good person. Park Jimin, he truly didn't deceive me. He's kind-hearted. It seems there's nothing between him and Park Min Young. Park Jimin, why did you mention him like that, my classmate? Yang Wei paused for a moment and then continued, Is it Park Jimin, right? Tell me, I was worried that he might be tempted by her, so I called him. But now that I know the truth, I feel more at ease. Thank you, Hyun Jin Ryu. After saying this, Yang Wei immediately hung up the phone. When Hyun Jin Ryu heard Yang Wei's words, he couldn't help but feel a sense of irony. He thought Yang Wei had feelings for him, but unexpectedly, she had feelings for Park Jimin. If he had known about this earlier, he would have exerted all of his effort to expose Park Jimin, not allowing him to live peacefully, regardless of the cost. However, what was he doing now? He was helping Park Jimin clear his name, supporting him in pursuing Yang Wei, the one he secretly admired for a long time. Thinking this way made him extremely angry. Park Jimin, that scoundrel, is currently pursuing Yang Wei and at the same time chasing after Park Min Young. But suddenly, that scoundrel encounters misfortune. After that, he came up with a way to solve the problem. He told Yang Wei that Park Min Young is a lesbian. No, I have to make her see his true face, he thought. Oh, why is she blocking me now? Yang Wei, listen to me. You absolutely should not trust Park Jimin's words. He's just deceiving you. He's a playboy who spends his days flirting with girls. Do you know that not only Park Min Young but also many other female students in the school have fallen for his tricks? Even his ex-girlfriend was stolen by this flirtatious Park Jimin. Hyun Jin Ryu tried to explain, hoping that Yang Wei would see the true nature of Park Jimin. However, unfortunately for him, Yang Wei added him to her blacklist and his messages couldn't be sent. This made him feel like he was going crazy. At this point, Yang Wei seemed to have her own judgment. Well, it seems that Park Jimin didn't deceive me. As for Hyun Jin Ryu, when he first talked to me, he knew nothing about the situation. Maybe he was telling the truth. But when he heard that Park Jimin and I were dating, he immediately changed his tone. That's Hyun Jin Ryu, talking bad about a girl behind her back and pretending to be happy. Surely can't be a good person. Well, let's just block him. While Yang Wei Bai and Hyun Jin Ryu were having a conversation, Park Jimin followed Park Min Young into a luxurious office, elegantly decorated. Du Ji Sung, the CEO of the Nova app, sat in the office on the 39th floor of the building, offering a panoramic view of Jiangbokum, the capital. The splendid scenery unfolded before Park Min Young, making her feel like she was dominating the world. Chairman Bakyun, if you don't mind, could you take a look at our company's financial report? We launched the Venova app in 2018, and in less than three years, we have over 30 million users. The daily activity figures are around 5 million. This achievement ranks at the top among all internet startup companies. In the future, we will continue to develop new technical features. I believe with these features, we will be able to dominate the market even more. Park Jimin glanced over the numbers in the report, but he didn't understand their significance. Oh my, so boring, it's putting me to sleep just talking about things I don't understand. Unable to patiently listen any longer, Park Jimin tossed the report aside, leaned back in his chair, and appeared indifferent. All right, Chairman Du, I've heard what you said. Just go ahead and name your price. What do you think our company is worth? Park Jimin acted in such a way that Du Jae-sung couldn't resist commenting. 
Based on President Batkin's demeanor, it seems he has already investigated my company. If he has nothing to hide, then I don't need to pretend anymore. Why not quote directly? With his background, he indeed has unconventional power. The value of my company is one billion. But the last time we tried to raise capital, the other party only wanted to offer 100 million. I hope President Bakian won't lowball the price too much. After careful consideration, Du Ji Sung also spoke frankly. President Bakian, let's be straightforward. Our company is valued at 1 billion. Park Jimin frowned upon hearing Du Ji Sung mention the price of 1 billion, and his expression made Du Ji Sung worry. It seems the opening price is too high. Park Jimin, adopting a lazy demeanor, said, just one billion, and you keep beating around the bush. Just say it straightforwardly. Upon hearing this, Du Ji Sung was astonished to the point of gaping. Just one billion? Before she could gather herself, Park Jimin continued. Like this, I'll buy 49% of your company for one billion, but have one condition. Du Ji Sung pushed his golden glasses up and inquired tactfully, Condition, President Bakyun? If you want to set a condition, what condition is it? Du Ji Sung appeared calm, but her emotions were extremely stirred. Having been in business for many years, Du Ji Sung had encountered numerous successful entrepreneurs who always fought for every percentage of ownership, unwilling to yield an inch. They were ready to employ any means, even cunning strategies, to secure their own interests. Therefore, when Park Jimin proactively offered money to Du Ji Sung, she implicitly understood his intentions. Especially when Park Jimin approached her, she had a tacit realization. Could it be that he wants that? It can't be. I'm ten years older than him. But it seems that some wealthy individuals have more peculiar preferences. That intricate thing. Simultaneously, Park Jimin, fearing that Park Min Young might overhear and reject him, had to lean close to Du Ji Sung and whisper, My condition is to transfer the shares to Park Min Young. Du Ji Sung narrowed his eyes, revealing a mysterious smile. I understand. President Bakyun, let's collaborate happily. Over ten minutes later, Park Jimin stepped out of Du Ji Sung's office. At the same time, Park Min Young, holding a cup of coffee, was about to enter. She paused upon seeing Park Jimin coming out. Is it done already? That was fast. Then, Park Min Young quickly approached and asked, Park Jimin, how was your conversation with my boss? Park Jimin looked at Park Min Young, his eyes sparkling slightly, that nodded in satisfaction. It's fine, just keep up the good work. With your talent, it won't be long before you get promoted and receive a raise. Park Min Young laughed nervously and continued, I'm not thinking about promotions and raises. I want to ask about your intentions. Upon hearing that, Park Jimin furrowed his brows slightly. Intentions? What do you mean? Park Min Young suddenly asked seriously, the girl outside, Yang Weibai, don't think I don't see the relationship between you two. I'm asking you, who do you choose between Yang Wibai and Kim Jisoo? Kim Jisoo seems genuinely interested in you. Park Min Young uttered those words, attempting to suppress her emotions towards Park Jimin. Her rationality told her, you can't have any relationship with him. But her subconscious always remembered him, creating a sense of contradiction and entanglement within her. What are her intentions? Isn't this question also asking herself about her feelings for him, for Kim Jisoo? However, Park Jimin's next words made her change her thoughts. Why do I need to choose? Everything is mine. Park Min Young was stunned by Park Jimin's statement. She couldn't believe that a man could utter such arrogant words, disregarding morals. Immediately, a feeling of discomfort and anger surged in her heart. You and your arrogance. But right after that, she found no hatred in her heart for Park Jimin. Perhaps, compared to deceit, Park Jimin appeared more genuine. He didn't hide his true nature and showed no signs of pretense or coercion. Park Jimin laughed coldly, his eyes revealing a clear mockery. Exactly. Not allowed. Park Min Young was so angry that her face turned purple. She glared at Park Jimin and scolded, You are truly skilled, uttering such vulgar words. I never thought you could stoop this low. Before Park Min Young could finish her scolding, Park Jimin immediately cut her off. Why act like you didn't know I enjoy playing around? You know I'm a terrible person, but yesterday you still hugged me and let me take you home. I find you quite contradictory. If you like me, why not openly admit it instead of asking me who I choose? Why not ask if I can choose you? As Park Jimin spoke, Park Min Young's cheeks turned red, 
and she had no words left to retort. She knew part Jimin was right. She loved him, but she dared not admit it. She feared being hurt, afraid of disappointment. Seeing Park Min Young silent, Park Jimin felt even more triumphant. If you truly want to protect Kim Jisoo, you shouldn't have seduced me yesterday. Emotionally, I feel more straightforward than you. What right do you have to lecture me? Think carefully before looking for me again. Don't offer yourself anymore. After saying this, Park Jimin turned away and walked off. Stepping outside the skyscraper, Park Jimin took a deep breath, still in a state of shock and excitement. He turned to look at the tall building, where the self-proclaimed beauty queen stood on high ground, smirking, pointing at the beauty queen's nose, and scolding her was truly refreshing, very comfortable. Afterwards, Park Jimin walked away with a confident and arrogant posture, paying no attention to the gazes of those around him. His words were like a splash of cold water directly on Park Min Young's face, forcing her to confront the harsh truth. Am I really that hypocritical? If so, I have no right to lecture him. Park Min Young stood there, torturing herself over her actions. She felt pain and shame, as if someone had stabbed her in the heart. Suddenly, a voice rang in her ears, snapping her out of her confused thoughts. Min Young, why are you still standing here? President Du has called for an emergency meeting of all employees. Hurry up! That voice startled Park Min Young, her thoughts in disarray. An emergency meeting for all employees. What's going on? Couldn't it be that the financial negotiations have collapsed? In no time, over 300 people from each department, about 100 from each, had gathered in the conference room. Although the conference room wasn't small, it wasn't overly spacious either, measuring just over 180 square meters. For a departmental meeting within the company, the space would still be comfortable. However, with the entire staff present, it seemed a bit cramped. At this moment, employees were fervently discussing the reason for President Du suddenly convening the meeting. Why is there such an impromptu meeting, especially a company-wide one? Didn't we just have a regular meeting a few days ago? Is the company on the verge of bankruptcy? This summoning might lead to immediate dissolution. Don't spread rumors. It could be that they want to give everyone a bonus. As Park Min Young entered the meeting room, she could see many people sitting and waiting. The technical department, sales department, management, human resources, all department heads and employees were present. Hearing the lively discussions, she couldn't help but think. President Du is always systematic in his work. What is he planning this time? It's making everyone uneasy and fearful. After a while, Du Ji Sung entered the conference room stood before the microphone, and announced to those present, Everyone, please calm down. Today's emergency meeting is primarily to share some good news. Our company is about to have a new vice president. Previously, the company's vice president was a major shareholder and one of the founders of the Venova app. However, in 2019, he sold his shares and stepped down from the vice president position. Since then, this position has remained vacant. Du Ji Sung's announcement excited all the high ranking leaders in the company. They all hoped to be promoted to the vice president position. The atmosphere in the conference room became lively, and people started discussing and exchanging thoughts about their own capabilities and those of others. Du Ji Sung continued Taking on the role of the company's vice president will be Park Min Young. Du Ji Sung concluded the meeting with over 300 employees, all turning their attention towards Park Min Young. Even Park Mid Young herself was visibly flustered. Vice President? Me. At this moment, a senior executive loudly objected. That's right. Min Young just joined the company last week. How can she take on the role of Vice President? In order, she is not deserving. Another company leader also voiced his dissent. You're right, Chairman Du. Your decision to appoint her seems a bit hasty. I don't agree. Du Ji Sung maintained a serious gaze and addressed the dissenters. Hasty? I don't think so. Min Young, although relatively new to the company, has shown exceptional capabilities. You can't imagine how much she has contributed to the company. From the side, the secretary handed Du Ji Sung a share transfer agreement. After receiving it, she coldly looked at those opposing and continued. This is the share transfer contract. Currently, she is the second largest shareholder in the company holding 49% of the shares. She has brought in 1 billion in investment for our company. Any questions? Du Ji Sum's words were like a strong wave and a fierce wind, causing a stir throughout the entire auditorium. 
No one expected that a newly hired female assistant could pull out a billion in finances to acquire 49% of the Nova app's shares. Not only those present, even Du Jae Sung herself couldn't help but feel envious. This is the style of a president. One billion to buy shares as a gift. Min Young, if I were back in my 20s, I would definitely compete for this man with you. The fact that Park Min Young bought 49% of the Nova app shares for a billion dong also raised doubts and concerns. One billion. Even if the company is packaged and sold, it might not fetch such a high price. How did she do it? Looks can be deceiving. Min Young, does she have the capability to do this? Does she have her own plans to establish influence within the company? Can I still be friends with her now? Although everyone had suspicions, there were still no accurate answers to these questions. Seeing no further objections, Du Jit Sung raised her hand and declared, If there are no objections, Park Min Young will officially take on the position of vice president of our company. By the way, I also want to announce another piece of good news. Due to this investment, the company will reward bonuses to all employees who have been with the company for more than two years. Additionally, loan-serving managers with more than three years of tenure will receive dividend shares. Let's give a round of applause for Min Young. As soon as Du Jae Sung finished speaking, applause echoed continuously. This was indeed a promising pledge, and they believed that a bright future lay ahead for them. Park Min Young remained in a daze, no longer hearing the discussions around her. She seemed lost, her emotions incredibly complex. A billion and 49% of the shares. Thinking about it, there's only one possibility. Park Jimin. Why would he do this? Could it be that he genuinely likes me? The more she thought, the more complicated Park Min Young's feelings became. Then, she suddenly remembered a question that Park Jimin had confronted her with during an angry outburst. Why don't you ask if I can recruit you into my harem? That question completely awakened her. He genuinely wants to choose me. He likes me. Park Jimin, where are you? I want to see you. With reddened eyes, Park Min Young hastily left the conference room. Finally, she was certain, Park Jimin loves me. This guy has silently sacrificed everything for me. At this moment, Park Min Young's tears welled up, and she couldn't contain her emotions any longer. The suppressed feelings that had been building up for so long finally burst forth. Park Min Young's favorability score has increased by 5. Park Min Young's favorability score has increased by 5. Current favorability score, 95 points. Target of licks, dog number 8, Park Min Young. For the owner, successfully breaking through the favorability score to 95 points. Congratulations to the owner for a successful reversal. The target of licking has spent a total of 1 billion dog licking coins. Rewarding the owner with 100 million, Park Min Young has successfully transformed into the owner's dog licker. Rewarding 35 strengthening points. Congratulations to the owner for acquiring the masterful combat skill. Remaining strengthening points. 84. At this moment, Park Jimin was on his way to meet Yang Weibai when a continuous stream of system notifications suddenly echoed in his mind. Park Jimin furrowed his brow. Even though he had left the Nova app, he could deduce the reason for Park Min Young's increased favorability score with him. Indeed, the tables had been turned. A billion truly held such immense power, and it was evident that a well-thought-out strategy could be much more effective than directly spending money, especially for Park Min Young. Achieving this through Du Ji Sung to gift her shares seemed strategic. This way, she wouldn't feel repulsed or coerced. On the contrary, she might think that he was quietly paying the price for her. Indeed, in the eyes of women, emotions were of utmost importance. However, spending money recklessly only made people feel domineering and insincere, whereas a strategic use of money, through a planned approach, made them feel that one was silently paying the price. Part Jimin strolled feeling that this unexpected visit was quite reasonable, gaining experience in spending money wisely. At this moment, the familiar ringtone echoed. Because of my perseverance and the transformation of bad habits. Taking out his phone, Park Jimin found a call from Oh Young Sil. Oh Young Sil, why is she actively calling me? He wondered. As soon as he answered, Oh Young Sil burst into tears. Boo boo Park Jimin, am I really foolish? Hearing this, Park Jimin couldn't help but feel confused. And then he inquired with concern. What's wrong? Why are you crying? And what's the situation? Isn't everything going smoothly? Upon hearing his question, Oh Young Sil cried even more intensely. While sobbing, 
She explained, Public opinion has turned against me. Some prominent actresses have come out to support director Ji Ho. Now, everyone online is cursing me boohoo, but I am clearly innocent boohoo boohoo. Especially on the web, there's a shocking piece of news in the entertainment industry about the renowned actress Tong Ji Yen. Tong Ji Yen boasts over 60 million fans and has collaborated with Hollywood superstars worldwide. According to some estimates, her acting fees for a single film have reached up to 300 million. Currently, she owns her own media company, and the market value of the company has exceeded 6 billion. Since Tong Ji Yen spoke out in support of director Ji Ho, many figures in the entertainment industry have also voiced their support for Ji Ho. Public opinion has flipped, and Oh Young Sil has become the target of criticism. Her account has been frozen, and she has to face various troubles. Upon hearing this, Park Jimin also became visibly angry. It's turned upside down. Even with 200 million spent, the tables have been turned. This is no different from playing League of Legends, getting counter jungled in the bottom lane. All right, stop crying. I'll help you sort this out. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.